Good afternoon, evening, ladies and gentle colts. My name is CloudGazer45, and welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. God fucking damn it. So, from what I've seen on the actual page, this is actually supposed to be a psychological horror game, not your fancy dancy little niche dating sim. This is actually supposed to scare you. This is supposed to mess with your head. I don't know why. I really have no idea. But we're gonna start. So let's just put in Cloud, because fuck it, why not? <sighs> hey! I see an annoying... <laughs> no, stop, we're not going this way. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she may draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used, to wait. we used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I will get tired of waiting up. But if she's gonna chase me after, like, if she's gonna chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let's say you already catch up to me. Heh, <laughs> heh, I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's me, well, yeah. Well, if people stare at you if we're acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> oh god, it's gonna be like this, isn't it? We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Cloud, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. One of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content by just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. You know, that kind of... That, that hits a little bit too much. That hits a little bit too close to home. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I was wor I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. What the fuck is a neat? I, I don't know what the fuck a neat is. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess. I'll promise you that. Yay. No, no, no sorry, sorry. <gasps> Yay. There you go. That, yeah, it, it, it should have been done that way. Why do, I let my, why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess I, seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Yeah. The school day is as... Oh, this, this music is gonna fucking kill me. Ah, oh, god damn it. The school day is as nor ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sari wants me to check out some clubs. 
I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Oh, hi, Sayori. Sayori must have come into the classroom when I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. Well, that, that kind of sucks. I thought I'd catch up... But, uh, bleh, I can't do my talking. I can't, I can't narrate. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. Well, I guess I'd take that as a compliment. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you needed some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh? Meanie. Sayori is vice... Oh my god, my voice. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any in interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a club. And hi... Hi, hi, Lewis child. It's been a while. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well... I kinda told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. N not Natsuki, not Natsumi. Fuck. <sighs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's cunning as to have planned all this out. I let out a long sigh. Ah, <sighs> fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. <laughs> I love that line. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the, s the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used to for third-year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you not to call me a new member. Eh, I gla glance around the room. Hi! You look like somebody, in terms of anime, that I, I, yeah, you know what? Uh, here, here's the picture of somebody that I'm thinking of. You're welcome. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori was all. Um, the Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a boy. Oh god. Here we go. Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, cl Do I know you? You're saying stuff like this, saying like you know me. But I have no idea who the fuck you are. Welcome to the club. Also, I got weird, weird vibes coming from her. I don't know why. I have no idea why. All words escape me in this situation. It's a club. It's full of incredibly cute girls, you know? What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. it, it sorry. Oh, oh, what did I do? There we go. Natsuki. Hmm. The girl with a sour attitude, whose name is apparently not. Uh, I can't. I, I I can't do words. I can't. I can't. Can't you see that I'm stumbling over my own tongue? God damn it! The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, accordingly, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Oh my god, I'm already fucking ten minutes into this recording. Holy shit. Oh, wow, this is gonna be long. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. 
And this is Yuri, the smartest of the club. Okay, so you're basically the twilight of the group. D don't say things like that. Yuri, who apparently, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And, oh my god, Discord. Sh <laughs> and it sounds like you know already know Monica, is that right? Monica, Monica, Monica. Nope. That's right. It's great to see you. I have no idea who the fuck you are. Monica smiles sweetly. We do. Oh, okay, so the character. Oh, I, I get it. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. Ah, I see. Strangely, these two look eerily similar, which is not that, that yet. Yeah, yeah, that that raises a red flag in my book. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little. You, you too, Monica. Come sit down, Cloud. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little excited. So, how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table with tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Okay, um, what's going on? Oh, Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Aw, the whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were made to make the ears. Oh my god. Oh, I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Oh, you know, just hurry up and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious. Sayori talks with her mouth full, and she already managed to get fraught icing on her face. Y you know, this is kind of why I don't do this kind of thing, because it just goes downhill immediately. Immediately! I'm not even joking. Have you seen the dating sim games that- Oh my god, Discord. Fuck off. Anyways, as I was saying before, if you've seen the most dating sim games, they usually go downhill pretty goddamn quickly when it comes to references. Stuff. Y y you get the gist. But this one kind of may seem a little bit different because, as it said on the store page, this game is actually completely free, by the way. On the store page, it's actually titled Psychological Horror. Which is interesting. Alright, back to the story. I turn the cupcake around my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Yeah, you gotta make sure you get the right angle when it comes to eating a cupcake. Or you just smack it on your face. Okay, Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice your sneaking glass glances and gla glasses. Glasses. You're sneaking glances in my direction. I'm gonna talk like this now because, you know, why not? Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thinking? Oh, no, 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 no. We have a word for this type of person. We have a word. I'm not going to say it, but it's going to be right here. Yeah, that's the word. Okay. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this... Com yeah, haven't I heard this somewhere before? Anything for you or anything? Eh? I thought you technically did say it. Or you said... 
Well, maybe... But not for, you know, you, dummy. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Weird logic. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. Yeah, right, right. After all, it doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess? Actually, it does. I can actually attest to this. I read a lot. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. It, it, that, that's not... Insulted Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? I have a weird, weird feeling about you. As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could have probably just been a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you the leader of the debate club last year? Uh, you know... To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around Major Club. You know, that is actually kind of true. I remember I was actually part of the, uh, the anime club back in my, uh, my, my freshman and sophomore year in high school. And that was fun. That was really fun for me. But at the same time, those were really the only clubs that I joined because that's where I felt more comfortable with. Not to mention all my friends were there, too. Shit! <laughs> ah, boy. I'd rather much take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it's to encourage... Uh, and if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Oh, God. Wow. Step away for one second and... Bleh. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't many... Blah. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially if when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthousi enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must really have worked... Ah... Must, Monica must have really worked hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though, I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Cloud, what things do you like to read? Well, uh... <laughs> you know, okay. In my personal opinion, since we're getting onto literature, I actually really like to read fantasy sci-fi novels. Just, ah, oh, something so fascinating about, like, s just the science of things, like, actually working sometimes. Uh, not to mention, also, it, fantasy, it's, it's magical. It's, it's just ridiculous. But, also another thing I like to read is horror. Horror is something that can be left to the uh, 
to the unknown. Now, I'll say that much. I, I would go on a big old tangent of what I like, but for me, it's sci-fi, fantasy, and horror. But anyways, enough about me. Let's go back onto the story. Well, uh, considering how well, how little I've read these past few years, I really don't have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she really wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Any anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. hey -o! The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. True. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way she looked... It's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Oh, okay. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? It actually is. Ah! Hey! Hey, 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 hey. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah! I read a horror book once. I desperately grab at something I can relate to at the minimum level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really, I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For some, for someone as gentle as you. Well, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? <laughs> what gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It looked like you were really working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud. Give that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just cute as you are. Sayori slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. <laughs> there we go, that's what we were looking for. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that is impressive. Why don't you share some of them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, uh, not a very confident writer yet. I can understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe you should share some of your work. You can set an example for, to help Natsuki feel comfortable and to, enough to share hers. Blah, I can't talk. Wow, what is wrong with me? Eh, I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, I want to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um... Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it'll help us all get a little bit more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right? You know, Monica, you actually have a good idea on that one. Monica smiles warmly at me once again. 
Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we're all back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made that decision. I still have other clubs to look at and, um, I lose my train of thought. All four, all four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but, I'm sorry, I thought, hmm, Cloud, you all, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Alright, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Ah, uh, everybody's happy. Hey! You really seem to scare me for a moment. If you really came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Um, well, then that's official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over to me once more. Cloud, I look forward to, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey Cloud, since we're already here, do you want to walk home with me? Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I forgot. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stays out- she would stayed after school for clubs. Bleh. I get my fingers caught in my goddamn glove. Ah. Uh, sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of the girls. Alright. I just need to make most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Oh boy. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever your poem, who, whoever likes your poem the most. Um. Oh God. Oh no, I actually have to write a poem. Um, let's see, let's start out with something. Crimson. Um. Mem oh, okay. Crimson Memories Rose. Crimson Memories Rose Broken. Essence. Okay. Most of this is going to uh, Sayori, it seems. Sensation. Unrestrained. Clouds. I, I, I would do that. I would do that, but I'm not going to. Tears. This is really interesting. Cap captive. Something seems a little bit weird. Promise. 
frightening. Melancholy. Romance. Vertigo. Hi again, Cloud. Glad to see you didn't run away from on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little bit strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everybody else is off already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Cloud. I hope this isn't too overwhelming as a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. He, like, deserves any slack. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't even know if you planned to come to just come here to hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the classroom. <laughs> Natsuki, you... Oh, you got burned. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between... <laughs> Monica and manga. Manga is literature. Yes. Imagery. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Cloud always gives his best as long as he's having fun. Yes, I do, actually. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Well, you know. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. And you, al you almost set your house on fire once. It's, it's so... <laughs> These are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Cloud can become good friends, too. Um... Sayori... Hmm? Sayori seems oblivious to how weird the situation is she just put me into. Uh... Oh, oh! You even brought you something today, you know? Wait, Sayori... Yeah? Me? Sorry, I'm just moving my headphones around. I've got itchy ears. Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Siri made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess it... I guess that means it's up to me to put... to rescue this situation. Ugh, I can't talk. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So, any nice gesture you, from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah. I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read. So it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it, if you wanted. Th this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not me reading much. That'll be the op opposite for me, because I read fucking non-stop. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew! Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, but she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around, rummaging around in the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a bit more. Oh, is this one of the choices that I made? But at the same time, it would feel bad for me. It would, I would feel bad for distracting her from her reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah, crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. 
She sneaks another glance at me, and her eyes meet for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in the book. Sorry, I was just spacing out. I muttered this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread it. Ah, reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. God damn it, why are you being so cute? F fuck. Just curious, how do you have two copies of the same book? Ah, uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday... Ah, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. I see. Well, there's, there's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It seems very engaging and a relatable story. Is that so? What is it about, anyway? Well, hmm. Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous-looking eye on the front cover. Alright. I just want to make sure I don't accidentally give away anything. Basically, this is about a girl in high school who moves in with a long-lost young sister. But as soon as she does, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escaped from an, a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she, desperate, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she always ends up destroying most of her relationship, relationships, and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... It's kind of dark, isn't it? That is. That is really dark. Especially if it involves people escaping from a human experimentation camp. Yuri made it sound so like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark came out of nowhere. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of this sort of thing, Cloud? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy these, those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri's into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. That is true. Those kinds of stories really do do that. Kind of like H.P. Lovecraft's uh, At the Mountains of Madness. That was more... That, that was definitely... Uh, something interesting that I read back in high school and I loved it I loved how insane it was how much detail is put into it that it makes you look into the, the actual imagery of how you would perceive it you could make the Shogarats so so interesting if you had an artist perspective and so many variations of the same thing could come out of it when horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in, then suddenly you thought you're related to the protagonist. They've, they're made out to be the na naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. Uh, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. You know, I'm kind of the same exact way. I tend to do this with video games that I'm very passionate about. Whether it be Ark Survival Evolved, uh, God, Eater God Eater 2 Rage Burst, Soul Sacrifice, which I need to get back into playing, actually. Uh, sometimes Overwatch. A few others, actually, put into perspective. Borderlands. Borderlands 1, 2, and the pre-sequel. 
I love, actually. I really love the Borderlands series. I, I'm not a big fan of the Tales of the Borderlands, though. It, it, that was kind of like a filler for people who wanted to have more, but at the same time, it was made by Telltale, which I love that kind of stuff, but at the same time, it's just meh. Uh, anyways, I, I know how Yuri feels. And please stop me if I start talking too much. And same goes to me, actually. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Ah. That's... well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? You don't have to. <laughs> what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Just let me get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not used to. That is reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or something. This is pointed that, yeah, okay. All right. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It says, it's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. I'm sorry. I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? Uh, I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slid my desk over until it's up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to open and hold the book open. I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Ah. Oh my god. She's so cute! She's so cute! God damn it! Ah. This is why I don't play these kinds of games, because I get so attached to the characters. Ah! I'm really attached to Yuri right now. Fuck. Why? Why, why does it have to be... Ow, my hands. Fuck. That hurts. <laughs> uh... Okay. Okay.